Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, it's just a kind of a one to watch market update, I guess, and how they're like affecting the market. Um, but before we get into that, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, leave a like and leave a comment if this is helping you guys. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to go and show you. So basically Witzel, he played yesterday and he didn't, he did not do good, so this is basically me explaining to you guys like how one to watch like basically how they work so before his game he was like 35k I think and I don't know right now he's about 28k so if you guys want you have the money I would say pick up some Witzels picks up some like Richarlsons I think I have a few here yeah so I bought mine for 26k for all four of these and he played yesterday I got them yesterday at 26k right after his game uh, he did score so he went from 26k to 39k um, but I sold mine before he scored so I sold him for 35k so I lost like 4k per card but I mean <laughs> I like to invest in them safe so that they won't like if he doesn't score any of that then he'll go back down so I picked mine up for like 26 27 after the game because like one goal is not gonna get you an inform and Neymar he's left wing and he scored like well I'm recording this Sunday so he scored four goals this week <laughs> so he's definitely gonna get into the team of the week uh, over a Charleston that scored one but I mean yeah I mean I mean it's not really it's not really hard trading with them you just need to know when to sell them like let's go check his price not right now um there it is he's probably 27 no but the reason you want to buy him right after the game oh what is because people are panic selling them because he's not gonna have another game for a week but in this case he's not gonna play for a couple weeks because they're on international break so I figured like, oh, why not just pick up a bunch for 27? Mm, yeah, that's a good deal, but I'm going to spend my coin somewhere else, I think. But yeah, with Witzel as well, let's see. Like if you can get him for 27 right there, that's pretty good. And another one that I bought is Keita. He played today. Everyone thought he wasn't going to play because he wasn't in the starting 11 so I sold mine and now he's back down yeah so I sold mine for like oh geez he crashed a lot I sold mine for 45k uh, when he came in oh man 39k but I think he went up to like 47 and he didn't do anything so he's now crashed I got mine for 39k because people panic sold him uh, I think I got mine for 39 let's see Oh uh, yeah, 39,750. But basically what you're going to want to do is, let's say the one swatch player, let's say uh, Witzel, right? Let's take Witzel. Let's say he is 28K. I buy him for 28K. And then he just finished the game. He did bad. Got him for 28K. In a week, he'll rise because he's going to play again. And if you want to be safe with it, you would sell him like the night before or right before the game and make profit like right before his game uh, yesterday I sold my whistles for 35k and he did nothing so then I picked them back up for 28 and then I'm gonna do the same thing next week it's just if you want to be risky with it and keep him that's why I buy a lot of the same player so I would buy like 10 whistles and keep two of them just in case he does something amazing because losing 4k on two cards uh it's like high risk low no low risk high reward so you lose 4k or you make like a lot because <laughs> if he scores like three goals or two goals and gets an assist or something he'll rise to like 45k so you'll make like a bunch of coins on one card rather than just selling them for what you could have right before the game but I mean 
yeah, there's nothing really to talk about. I mean, I'm just trying to tell you guys what's up with them. And they end on Monday, I think. Monday or Tuesday. So if I were you guys, I would pick them up uh, before then. Maybe during squad battles. Uh, another card I want to talk about is Golovin. He is 11k right now. Right? Here, I'm going to bail on this. I might, I might even get him for 10. Let's say I get him for 10, right? Okay, what? Uh, that's his UCL. So, a discard one to watch is probably the best thing you can do. Like, he can't go underneath that. But if he if he's going to play a game, like today, he had a game. He went up to 13K. I saw him on 13K. So, if you buy 100 of these for, like, 11K, some for 13, you're making, like, a lot of profit. That It's just, like, crazy. One to watches are probably the most profitable cards <laughs> in all of FIFA, and they just came out. But, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video explaining. Uh, did we get out bid? Yeah, not worth it anymore. I just wanted to make a quick video explaining like how they worked in case you guys didn't know. And I'm going to be trading with these a lot this year. So, and I'll probably show you like who to invest in and stuff like that. But another thing that I just wanted to touch up on is the player of the month hazard so this guy was how much was he like 400 okay no so he was like 400k a couple days ago Ooh, that's actually not bad i saw him at 456 today um he was 400 a couple days ago but since he's so in demand for the player of the month yeah that's already gone um, cause the player of the month's coming on Friday, this next Friday, and people are assuming he's gonna be needed, uh, because everyone's pretty sure that it's Hazard, he blew everyone out this week, or this month, he scored what, five goals, and I got a couple assists, I'm not sure, but it's most definitely gonna be Hazard, and I'm not gonna invest in this card, because I don't know, like, if they do put this card in, there's like one, there's not that many pages. There's only like four pages of them, right? So if they put this, if they make like Chelsea um, and Belgium, if they say that, let's look. There's no, hold on, Nation Belgium, where is it? And then Chelsea. There's no other player except Hazard. Last year, uh, it was Mane, and they did English and Senegal, I think. I think that's where he's from. And he was the only player on Liverpool that was English, or from Liverpool and Senegal. And he just flew up. He went from about, I want to say he went from like 100k to extinct, and then they had to keep updating his price. He went to... I'm going to say 500k in the span of like a day, which is actually crazy. And if they make Hazard, <laughs> if they actually require Hazard, he'll be like 700k on Friday. But I'm really counting that they don't do that because I'm going to invest like in informs. I would have just invest like discard informs. But I think tomorrow I'm going to have a video about that more in depth about like who to invest in because I'm still trying to decide what's the best investments but i mean yet yeah, so if you want to see like player of the month investments tomorrow i'm going to be making a video about that and yeah i hope this video helped you guys for one to watches and yeah i hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one